Hello everyone, in this session we'll continue adding more functionality to this full stack multi-target application. So in this section what we are planning to do is we're going to add HANA support for our sample application. In the previous sessions we had used a SQLite in-memory database and then we had built the Node.js layer, the service layer on top of it. Uh, we are yet to create the UI layer but in this session, what we want to do is uh, swap out that SQLite uh, persistence layer with a HANA database persistence layer and still have the service layer the same way and then eventually build the UI5 layer. And uh, we also want to move the HANA database and the service layer uh, into the Cloud Foundry runtime and not just in our development environment. Uh, so this is what we want to do, these last two sections here and then move these last two sections here into the Cloud Foundry. So this is uh, what we want to do. Okay, so let's get started. For To do that, uh, there are a couple of commands that I need to run. and. Um, these are the commands that I need to run. Uh, so if I run CDS add HANA, and uh, I already ran this, uh, so this will fail for me. Uh, I'll have to add a dash dash force flag, but in your case, you will simply write uh, CDS add HANA. Uh, uh, but I, I'll add this uh, flag dash dash force. Um, and what you can see is uh, it creates this require section, and it pretty much says that our project uh, requires HANA. So it requires HANA at this moment. Uh, so basically this is the command to tell that our project requires HANA. And then the next command we want to do is uh, we want to do CDS build slash all and this is going to build our project and by running this it's uh, going to build our projects and you can see that a folder called gen got created and inside of gen there are two folders, DB folder and the SRV folder. The DB folder contains all the artifacts for the database layer, and the SRV layer uh, folder contains all the artifacts for the Node.js, the service layer. Now, if I open DB layer one more time, you can see that there is a manifest.yaml file, and this manifest.yaml file is Cloud Foundry's way of uh, how to deploy applications to the Cloud Foundry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this uh, DB layer uh, to the Cloud Foundry. But before I do that, uh, you can see that it requires this service. It requires this HANA container because our application requires uh, HANA, right? Uh, so I need to create this before I can push this uh, DB persistence layer. Uh, so I need to create this HANA container. And for that, I can use this command right here, CF create service HANA HDI shared, and then the name of this uh, container. Uh, so I can I can add this here. Uh, so this is the command that you would run. You can also do this uh, from the UI also if you want. You can come in here. You can go into service instance, and you can uh, create a service like, or you can go into service marketplace and uh, choose uh, HANA HDI container and create it by hand as well. Uh, so. Uh, whereas, yeah, you can create a contain an instance uh, from here as well. But I'll just simply go ahead and just run this command. Uh, and uh, but if you want, you could do it from here as well. So I can create this HANA container, and this will create a HANA container. And if I go into my uh, Cloud Foundry, and if I look at my service instance you will notice that uh, there is a container that is being created. And yeah, you can see that my MTA DB HDI container is being created. Now, as soon as this gets created, I can run this next command, uh, CF push dash F. Now dash F is uh, uh, CF push wants me to uh, point to a manifest.yaml file. and there is a manifest.yaml file that SAP created automatically when we did this uh, build all command. Uh, so we can simply point to that uh, manifest.yaml file. So if I go into gendb, there is this manifest.yaml file. Oh, I think I, yeah, okay. Um, I think I uh, mistakenly 
uh, copied, uh, pasted it here. Uh, so this is the manifest.yaml file, and I can uh, push my uh, DB folder, a uh, DB project, uh, running this command. So let me do this: cf push gen db. Now let me also make sure that it got created. Yes, it did get created, and I'll make sure that I am here, so I'm not pasting it somewhere else. Uh, gen db is what I need to run. Okay, and let me run this, and this is going to push my uh, db project to the Cloud Foundry. So if I go back to my uh, go back to my uh, 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 my slides, uh, that I'm going to be somewhere here. So I'm pushing this uh, DB layer to my Cloud Foundry. So once this is done, then I can push my service layer to the Cloud Foundry as well. Uh, so let's wait for this to complete. And then the command that I need to run to push my service layer is the same thing because there is a manifest.yaml file in SRV folder as well. But I have to specify this additional random route uh, parameter so that I get like a unique URL. So let me push this. And, um, and at this time, what I'm doing is so I'm going to I've already done this layer, this HANA database layer. And at this moment, I want to push this service layer. And that's what I'm doing right now by pushing this to this uh, Cloud Foundry. Now, once this is all done, I want to make sure everything is working here. And then I'll also show how we can do some kind of local development uh, here on the Business Application Studio using the HANA database uh, that's in Cloud Foundry as well. Uh, so let this uh, get completed. So it's still in the process of pushing. Uh, so if I go into my Cloud Foundry, I should see uh, that there is already the DB uh, project that got pushed. And you can see that uh, it's already pushed as well. So let me make sure it's uh, pushed. Let me see. Give me a second. It's going to get pushed soon. Uh, it needs to get started. And then uh, the project will make sure that the project is working. And then, uh, yeah, so it is, is pushed. And if we go into my MTA-SRE uh, project, um, and I can click on this link here. So the random route, uh, so it's created a random route for us. And if I click on this, and if I go into projects, and this should show me all the projects. So right now it is working. Uh, so what I now need to do is uh, be able to run this locally as well. So I don't want to go to the Cloud Foundry every time I want to run this application. I want to be able to run it locally. I want to be able to do CDS Watch and be able to run it locally as well. Uh, so for that, what I need to do is I need to go into this Cloud Foundry targets right here. And then I want to choose my MTA DB HDI container. So this is my HANA database container. And I want to bind it to my local application. So bind service to locally run application. And I'm going to choose uh, this my MTA application. And this creates a .env file. Uh, you will see that there's going to be a .env file. Um, and there's a couple of things we need to do. And I'll put it down here as well. Uh, we need to go ahead and rename that .env file to default-env.json. And then I need to format it in JSON format. OK, so these two things I need to do. Uh, so let me go ahead, right click, rename, and I can say default dash env.json. And so I've done that first thing. Oh, I have a file already. Uh, let me delete this file. And I will rename this to, uh, you shouldn't have that file. I think I was running this uh, before uh, recording this. Uh, so that's why I have that file. But you shouldn't have that file. Uh, default dash env dot json okay and i need to format this as a json object uh, so i'll put a 
uh, curly brace here and then I'll go end and then I'll have another curly brace and then this I'll make it into a key value pair so I'll put a and by doing this so this should be a valid JSON format and the way I can test it is I can do format document yes it is uh, properly formatted and so this default dash env dot JSON file uh, this is uh, like a mock environment variable uh, so anything in this file provides the environment variable for our application so right now it's telling hey if uh, this project requires HANA database and this is where you can find the database and it gives you all that information okay so we have this um, and at this moment uh, I can do npm install so to install all the dependencies in our packages so I can do npm i and once this completes I should be able to run CDS watch uh, and at this moment um, we are able to run everything in uh, with uh, with SAP HANA database locally uh, so I can go here and this is uh, my local instance it's not from Cloud Foundry I hit projects and everything is working and I can hit the users as well and this shows all the users um, so what we have now is we have uh, um, we have we have this uh, set up right now so I can do some local testing also with this HANA database which is actually in the Cloud Foundry so that's kind of cool so you can do some local testing with the HANA uh, database in your business application studio and we also have pushed up parts of this application to the Cloud Foundry as well and uh, this one is working as well okay uh, I'll talk to you next week uh, and I'll add more functionality to this uh, application